I definitely think they're a really good team. As far as the individual talent, uh, Colin is he's very, very great. I like, you know, the pace in which he plays. Um, you really can't speed him up. You know what I mean? You can, mm-hmm. I think, deceptively quick, you know, and fast. You think, like, okay, you, he can't beat you here, but before you know it, he done beat you to the spot. And he's strong, you know, to get there and hold guys off and hold his own, playing the paint a little bit. Um, I love the young kid, uh, uh, Moore. I really mm-hmm. like him, man. I really do. Um, you know, he, he'll get better. You know, he'll, he'll get more aggressive on a defensive end. Um, but I, he's very, very skilled. Um, I would like to see him attack more um, and don't settle for the jumper. But he definitely does have a really good pull up. Mm-hmm. He's got a really good, solid team. I mean, and then Jeremiah, I mean, what, what can oh, you really say man, about Joe. him, man? I watch him and. I mean, I think of just as far as his game and his development from his freshman year to now. Yeah. I see a little bit of myself in him. I was just about to as, say as that. As far as like um, coach letting him expand his game, you right. know, because because we don't know if he was able to do that last year, really, because right. that's not what was needed of him the same way, you know, I had to what was needed of me, you know, going in from freshman year to sophomore, from freshman year, you know, I was lucky if I got a chance to shoot the ball, you know what I mean, to get the ball, but going to the sophomore year, it was like, okay, this is what we need. And then, you know, I was able to show what I really can do. You know, it wasn't just in practice every day with me feeling like I can't play my game, you know, but it's what the team needs and what's best for the team. And I think what's best for the team is him expanding his game because he really, really is good. And you got to take advantage of what the defense gives you. So, um, yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, and I think um, uh, you're right on. You're spot on, and it's interesting you said that because that's exactly what I was thinking. And for those who was watching from day one, Jeremiah Robinson Earl is like a, a later version of you. He's more po- like uh, he's more post than you were, and you were more perimeter than he was. But overall, in terms of the inside game, outside game. Very, very similar. It's uh, what Coach Wright envisioned. Um, you, I remember when you played, uh, again, like you said, that first year wasn't so much about shooting. It was about making right reads, finishing at the basket. And then you did a lot of work with Coach Jones in the offseason or definitely after every single practice, we would watch you put in that extra work over and over, relentless. And it really paid off. And it, it, now if you speed up to junior year, we are playing um, – in the tournament, and we know we had the ACL tear, but leading up to that, what people didn't realize, going into the recruiting class, I'm all American, I'm supposed to be one and done. Injuries doesn't happen. Then everyone is trying to figure out what coaches groom Randy. You became our first go-to guy. And at that time, people didn't know there was talks. You were gonna go, what was it, like mid to late first round before that injury? Before that injury, definitely um, possible first round pick. And um, I think a little bit was contributed to just playing on the USA team as well, you know, mm-hmm. in that summer. And, but we really had a good, you know, junior year. And um, I played well. Um, we all played well. And I think Allen and I might have been, I forget what year it was, like the, the second best tandem in scoring in the nation. So I think. Right. You know, we, we all helped each other out, you know what I mean? Give each other looks, you know, because everyone was doing so well. And I just think that, you know, once coach figured out how to play me or how we could match, because right. our office in the beginning was, was totally different. You know what I mean? Like it was, you know, my, my position was what you see is developed. You know what I mean? I was, you know, a ducking guy, you know, which is not my game. You know what I mean? I'm not, could I do it? Yes, I had some success with that, but it wasn't to our advantage. And I think once, you know, I was allowed to do more, I think it opened the floor for, for Allen to be Allen, you know, because because Randy got that jump shot as he developed, but Randy, mm-hmm. you know, could beat his man, take his man in the basket. So if I'm clogging a paint up, you clogging a paint up, you know what I mean? Like it's, it's not, not work. it's not helping him. Then once you gotta back off him, then he gonna rock you to sleep, hit that jumper. Mm-hmm. You know, Al, you know, Allen definitely gonna get his man in the air. Definitely gonna get his man with a with a head fake or hezzy. He's gonna get to the basket. That little jab. He's a jab. Remember, A Ray hold the ball, just jab. 
Jab, <laughs> jab. Away, and I think we all just started, you know, playing. I think those open gyms helped too, because I think he started to see like, you know, how we played in those open gyms and um, we just meshed well. And then plus, you know, I was able to, I think just guard bigger guys too kind of helped us.